This is the Civilization 4 NLL. Welcome back to the NLL. I am Shutlike, and this is the game between Sarah, Jakob, and Catherine in the first division. Sarah Jakob winning his first game, two points in seventh place against a Catherine that is rock bottom of the league with her zero points in 18th. Now, both of them are happy to play each other, I guess. They are uh, thinking that they have a good chance to win this game. Let's take a look at the starting positions. This is Sarah Jakob's starting positions. We see there is some dice, there is coal and there is aluminum, but nothing much apart from that. There is a lot of green here though, both up north along the coast and down south. He's probably not going to reach that one, but if he gets over here to the western part of the continent, there it looks like it's possible to go here before astronomy to take this one. And if he gets over here, he can also go down here and take this area. So this should be available. As for Catherine, her starting position, she does have copper. There is clam, there is cow, there is whale, and she also has some good green lands here. And then there is also the connection over here to get onto this one and the, these two small islands down here. And also this good green place that is connected up to the Arctic up here. Only a few places over here in the west are not available until astronomy. So they have a lot of land to share before they need to do that. It's going to be interesting to see if they are going to have a late war or whatever it is it's going to end up being. Let's get the game started, shall we? Let's get rid of those and let's go and figure out what's going to happen today. Sarah Jakob versus Catherine in the first division. One city each. Sarah Jakob with Buddhism. Catherine doesn't have a religion yet. Turn 50 is here, two cities each. And Catherine is cautious. She doesn't have her own religion, Sarah. Catherine with three cities now. She is building down south and she is also building cities up on that continent up to the Arctic. While uh, Sarah Jakob is trying to go inland for some reason. He's not building too many cities along the coastline, trying to go up north there. But Catherine with seven, oh, one idea has passed a long time ago. Catherine with seven cities versus Sarah's five, and Catherine also has Hinduism. Seven to seven right now, they are equal, but Sarah Jakob is weaker. He is only 0.6 the strength of Catherine, so Catherine. She is looking like she may have the edge here early on. Eight cities each, but Catherine is a lot stronger, which means that she is probably building units. And she also settled a city on that continent down south in the middle, which means that Sarah Jakob is almost completely shut off from expansion at this point. And there is the war declaration. Catherine with 12 cities, Sarah Jakob 8 and Sarah Jakob only 0.6 the strength of Catherine. This could go badly for Sarah. Catherine has something to prove after the loss in round 1 and being placed rock bottom. She really needs to do something and now she is proving herself with expansion and now she is also stronger than Sarah and if that is not getting turned around later in the game. She could be heading for a win here. Catherine is going for the compass. Sarah Jakob is on machinery. He hasn't really lost any cities yet. He has eight cities, but Catherine has expanded all the way to 15. So she has a lot broader base for production at the moment. Wasting some time going for theology and stuff, Catherine, but that is maybe expected, I don't know. Trying to go for philosophy. She has 16 cities to Sarah Jacobs now. Seven! He has lost one. Sarah going for engineering, but it looks like 0.7 the strength of Catherine. He has not been broken yet, but once we see that 0.7 number go down to 0 0.6, 0 0.5, 0 0.4, then we will have seen it happening. Still not happening. 0.6 there. Six cities for Sarah Jakob. Turn 253. Catherine is looking like she wants to go for an early conquest here. Six Ethiopian cities, 18 Catherine cities. She is also trying to go for astronomy, 
which means that if she is a little bit late taking out Zara, she could win domination instead. But this is going to go only one way now. Catherine is proving herself to be a very good leader indeed. And she is proving that what happened in round one of the league was nothing but a fluke. <laughs> wow. At least she can think it was a fluke. We'll see what happens in the next rounds. But five cities to Zara Jakob now, 19 to Catherine. Catherine, turn 270, that's 1800 AD. We are in the 19th century. Zara Jakob, five cities left. Both of them going for civil service, but Zara Jakob is not going to get it. Catherine got it there. And she is going for nationalism next. Sara is down to 0.5 the strength. Five cities to Catherine's 20 now. She is also over in the west. She built a city uh, out there if you look at the minimap. 20 cities to 5. Catherine is twice as strong as Sara Jakob. Sara with five cities still holding on to those five. We are at turn 283. It's only a matter of time. Now Sara is up to six cities actually. Maybe one revolted back, or maybe he took one back, I don't know. Catherine has at least been dividing her attention to both e expansion and warfare. But Sarah is down 0.6, the strength of Catherine, so with six cities now, Catherine 19. The war doesn't seem to end, we are almost at turn 300. Catherine has really stopped taking out Sarah Jacobs' cities at the moment, which is a disappointment appointment for the Catherine fans. She could have won this earlier if she had gone full out attack mode instead of expansion. Feudalism for Sarah Jacob could also help defend the cities but Catherine should be so much ahead that it shouldn't really matter. Sarah is down to five cities left. Catherine with 21 and uh, 0.5. Sarah Jacob is holding on to 0.5 the strength but uh, Turn 309, 310, 10 turns until the 20th century. I think Sarah Jakob is going to survive until the 1900s. It seems like that to me at the moment. But Catherine, with her expansion, she could at any moment also win domination. Because I think she could have enough land tiles under her control right now, so that if she just took one or two more cities from Sara, she could break the domination threshold. She has gunpowder, by the way. Sara is going slowly towards compass. Catherine is going 21 cities to 5 towards chemistry. And uh, Sara holding on, turn 325. Still no decision in this game. Although we know Catherine is going to win, it's only a matter of when. Going for getting chemistry there, going for military science next. Sarah Jakob for drama, still holding on to his five cities. Now he's up to six cities again. Sarah with six cities. And Catherine doesn't she seem to care. But Sarah is down to point four the strength now. So he is probably going to lose those cities again. Catherine, I think I am disappointed that Catherine hasn't gone all out war now. So she should have finished off Sarah Jacob a long time ago. This is not good for Catherine. It's going to be a late victory. Uh, 22 to 6 cities. Unless she can suddenly run over him in a few short turns time. Now Sarah is back down to 5 cities. Point for the strength. And Catherine is more than twice as strong as Sarah Jacob. She really shouldn't focus so much on expanding her own empire, but more conquering Ethiopia. She has not done that. She has divided her attention, which has slowed down her victory date, I believe. Turn 352. Five cities left for Sarah Jakob and is down to point three. the strength of Catherine. Catherine is growing stronger and stronger. It's only a matter of time, but unfortunately it takes a little bit too long time. Five cities left for Sarah Jakob. Yeah, Catherine going for the physics. But will she take Sarah Jakob down to four cities soon? Two turns to banking for Sarah Jakob. 
going for the optics. Catherine, 26 cities, 2 5. Sorry, Echo, point 3 the strength. Catherine going for replaceable parts. Sorry, Echo's going for optics. Turn 370 is here. This is going to be a late victory, isn't it? It looked earlier in the game that this was going to be an early victory for Catherine, but she has not managed to kill off Sarah, and this is a little bit of a disappointment, but she has impressed. She does have control of the game. Maybe she is just farming for as much points as possible on the table to get the score per turn difference up. <laughs> that is a possibility, of course. 28 to 5. Surely she must be close to domination by now. This is not going to end in a conquest. She has expanded too much out into the new world in order for that. But now Sarah is down to four cities, finally. Turn 382. Was that enough to win domination? Apparently not. Maybe then she needs another one. Catherine going for it now, hopefully. 32 3. Sarah is down to three cities. I still don't see any domination, two cities, and there it is, turn 387, 1967, Catherine finally wins a domination victory, a little bit later than I had hoped, but it was a very good early game for Catherine, she practically won the game early on, and then it was only a matter of when it was going to happen, two points for Catherine, she is then lifting herself up from 0 to 2 points. And uh, let's take a look at the world history replay before we go into the statistics. Catherine needed only one war and she captured 11 and lost three cities, making it one war declaration and one win. So congratulations to Catherine with a very well deserved domination victory and let's go and take a look at the statistics from this game. Here we have the graphs, we see Catherine in score was number one for most of the time. The GNP, she was clearly better manufacturing, she was also clearly better the whole time. Food, yes. Power, yes. Culture, well, yes. And espionage. It was even until around here, 1500, 1600 something, and then she, yes. Hmm. Demographics. Sarah Jacob's values are very low, Catherine's are good, 2.7 million soldiers, 21.3 million uh, in population. Let's take a look at the top six cities, cities and the wonders, Stonehenge, Great Wall and Great Lighthouse, the only three wonders in the BC era, and we see the rest in the list. 
Catherine then with all six top six uh, cities. Go quickly to the statistics. Sorry, Jakob. Eight cities built, two legions founded. Currently with seven mines, five windmills, five towns. Built in his cities, eight granaries, eight barracks, and down to the Mahabodhi. That is not much that you managed to build there, Sara. Go to the top. Currently 11 Mongols, 9 War Elephants and down to 1 Galley. You built 52 War Elephants, 51 Archers, 42 Catapults and all the way down to a Great Scientist and a Buddhist Missionary. Your kills 48 Knights, 28 Trebuchets, 17 Longbows all the way down to a Cossack and your losses 43 War Elephants, 34 Catapults, 34 Swordsmen all the way down to a workboat. So let's go take a look at Catherine's stats. 25 cities built, 5 religions founded, 2 golden ages, currently 50 towns, 44 workshops, 31 farms. And you built in your cities 25 granaries, 24 barracks, 21 forges. You see Stonehenge down there, page down. Great library, great lighthouse, oracle, and a lot of stuff. Sistine Chapel, Notre Dame, Taj Mahal, Kremlin, and all the way down to Great Wall, Chichen Itza, and even more stuff. Statue of Zeus, Muslim, and Masolos is a good one. Hagia Sophia, and she built both the heroic and the national epics, Globe Theater, and the pyramids. So a lot of stuff built by Catherine here. Current units, 84 riflemen, 40 galleons and 30 workers, all the way down to a curiosier. You built 189 workboats. I think I understand why your victory came a little bit later than what I had hoped for. 58 longbowmen and 55 knights, down to 9 Buddhist missionaries, page down, and all the way to a warrior. And this is the list and a confirmation of your kills. 43 war elephants, 34 catapults and swordsmen, all the way down to a workboat. And your losses are 48 knights, 28 trebuchets, all the way down to a Cossack. That was the stats. Let's go take a look at the cities. Here we are, Sarayakop with his two cities left. They are already sorted in order by highest to lowest pop Addis Ababa pop 6 uh, Kohaito pop 2 and we see he's building 2 bike man it didn't help but here are the results from his cities let's then go and change and go look at what Catherine has there we go let's see if there we are 31 cities for Catherine let's sort them by population and let's go top Yekaterinburg 16 pops, Orenburg 15, St. Petersburg, Rostov 14, and then we see Moscow 13, and the list goes on down. She is mainly building a half and half of units and other theaters, levies, market, bank, bank, confusion, temple markets, yeah, all those buildings. Shelyabinsk size 4 is the bottom one here. Let's go to the bottom. Let's see Chelyabinsk. There it is. And then Aksum and those cities below are the ones that didn't fit on page 1. Umsk, the lowest one with size 1. Spoiler alert. Results and updated league tables follows after this screen. After this win, Catherine is up to 8 place in the league with her 2 points and negative 2 score per turn difference. Sara Jakob, 11th, 2 points and a negative 17 score per turn difference. Both leaders stand 2 points before the third league round. Uh, tomorrow we are going to start uh, two Division 3 games again. Starting with Stalin versus Darius the first, and the late game tomorrow is Alexander versus Montezuma. Welcome back tomorrow, but for today this has been it. I am Jutlike. See you later. Bye for now.